Dear 2020, things are different now, but people have stayed the same. There's always something to love in everyone, so thank you for fighting. We lost many a battle, but we're beginning to win the war. Your determination to fight for everyone will be a lifelong effort, so get used to digging in your feet. I wish you could see the kind of world you're struggling for, but know that life will provide many pleasures along the way. Love will find you, but you must jump to meet it. Speak to everyone, always. Relish each moment of connection. Seek to understand other people. Take consolation in the thought that your voice, your art, and your battle could be recognized. If not in the history books, then in the experiences of those who could not stand for themselves. Do not work for a reward, but your own enjoyment. Cherish the time you spend with your loved ones. Memorize the lines in their face. Breathe each breath of air you can get into your lungs for its pure, purity will not be here for much longer. Feel the textures of the surfaces around you. They will become relics of the past. Laugh as much as you want to. As dire as things may get, momentary joy is always a worthy cause. Strive to be happy. Take joy in your duty and recognize that one person is worth it. Don't restrict yourself to the imaginings of others or the requirements. The system is not your friend, but your mentee. Treat it gently always, but it is below the people. Each battle, no matter how insignificant to you, is as important as the last. Art is sacred, more so than the flimsy structures of society. Break out no matter what anyone says. Speak every word you wish to, but examine each piece of language that you encounter. Communication will become paramount to your survival. Keep your memories fresh in your eyes, but watch the kaleidoscopes of others' experiences with compassionate glint. You are always just one person in a room. Treat everyone as your equal. Listen with open ears and never dismiss until you have researched. Hold on to each fragment of yourself with fragility. Your duty is as important as your happiness. And comprehend now that you will not spend your life enjoying the freedoms you create. Instead, you will work tirelessly to breed futures. Love radically, speak freely, 2050.